It's not actually been a long time since Android 13 Beta 1 was released and now we have Android 13 Beta 2 available. Yes, yesterday Google released Android 13 Beta 2 and right now we have this installed on our Redmi Note 8 hands-on of course. And let me tell you, it's actually a GSA which I am using right now. So yes, some features which are device specific or some things if you are having some kind of issues, like if you are seeing some bugs, etc. Don't worry, I'm just using GSA just to show you that which are the new things you have in Android 13 beta 2. If you're a Redmi Note 8 user, you can install this GSI right now by installing any Android 13 build, install GSI and you are done. Let's take a quick look at the changes, the new things which you have. If you move on to sound and vibration settings, you'll see always show icon when in vibrate mode. It was not available previously in Android 12, Android 13 beta 1, developer preview 1 or 2 etc. Now it's, ad it's added in this new update. Including that of course Android 13 has new extra things in vibration and haptics where you can choose Choose the notification and alarms vibrations, inactive heat, uh, inactive haptics, etc. A lot of things available there. If I move on to display settings and if I move on to dark theme and if you move on to the schedule option, you'll see turn on at bedtime, which was not available previously. It's also something new, which is added in Android 13 beta 2. Something is new. There are some few of the changes. There are some minor changes which you have in Android 13 beta 2. Of course, you need to use a bedtime mode to enable this schedule feature for turn on at bedtime. But other than else, it's almost same here. If I move on to other options, if I move to other new change, it is also available in the media player. Yes, the media player was introduced. This kind of media player was introduced in Android 13 beta 1. But in this new update, if you're able to see the play controls, etc. have been changed. Unfortunately, I don't have Android 13 beta 1 installed right now in my any of the devices. So I'll not be able to show you, but you can watch my previous video to differentiate between those. And also in lock screen, some controls have been changed. Yes, this is something really interesting which you have. And they are just doing some a little bit of stuff changes with media player. That's something interesting. I'm not sure, but uh, I don't think so. It matters a lot for some of the users. But yes, it looks good. Either it's just user's opinion. If I move to other options, almost same kind of things available. But one thing if you're able to see, look closely, you'll see some animations changes. As you can see, if I, if you check out your device with Android 12 or Android 13 running, these are not the animations you're having by default. This is available in Android 13 beta 2. As you can see, this is something interesting so it was expected i was expecting that they will improve animations everywhere and yes this is what they are doing animations in quick settings animations in power menu animations in everywhere things and yes this is what we have by default but other than else of course same kind of things one more thing which i was actually not able to show you is this battery widget yes you also have a new battery widget available previous times you need to use setting services app to get the battery widget the new battery widget but in this one you have a specific battery widget available in the widget section and unfortunately it's you can't resize to small yes this is what you need to keep this in your mind you can customize this thing like this but you can't customize the height maybe and that's something really interesting not sure what it is or maybe because i'm using gsa i'm having a bug i'm not sure but this is what we have this is the new change which you have but other than else, almost same kind of things. One more thing, if I was not able to show you in this quick settings panel with this media player, you can simply hold this and you'll be able to hide this if you want to. It was not available previously. So this is also something new which is added here. And this is what we have in Android 13 beta 2. Other than else, same kind of things, the power menu animations, the internet tile animations, or as expected, all the Android 12.1 features, Android 13 features, if we want to take a look at some some of my favorite features, and etc. I made a video already, and I'll provide you the link for that, so make sure to watch that if you want to. Other than else, things are basically same. These were things I just wanted to let you know. This is the new update which you have and make sure to like this video, make sure to share this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel and also get to know about these new things, new additions which you have in Android. This is all. Goodbye. Over the edge, feel like I'm floating through.